Do you have a quail chick that has uh, stargazing or what we call Rhineck disease? You're wondering what you can do about it and what causes it? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house, if that's the way you want to do it. Today we are in a spare room of my house because this is where I keep my brooder box. I'm going to take you in close here. I'm going to show you. I've got a chick with rye neck. So let me show you what that looks like, and then we'll talk about like what causes it and how you can treat it. Okay, what we're looking at here is my brooder box, and I've got, um, these are week old quail, a little over a week, week and two days, something like that. And I've got one bird right here that has developed rye neck. Also, you might be here to, uh, you might have heard it called stargazing. You know, they kind of twist their neck like that. Grab the poor thing here. So these are the common symptoms of rye neck. You're gonna see the bird just kind of looking up, twisting its neck up towards the sky. Um, it, it's gonna have a hard time walking, mostly walking backwards. It's gonna have a hard time balancing. It may have a hard time eating and drinking. All right, let's start off talking about what causes rye neck. Um, it could be no, one of three things for the most part. First one uh, being a vitamin deficiency. There's, they're deficient in vitamin E and um, selenium. Those are the two vitamins that seem to help when you treat these. Uh, to overcome the uh, rye neck disorder. So they could be deficient in those vitamins for some reason. Uh, the second reason could be a genetic disorder, uh, something that they inherited from their parents, um, you know, whatever. Um, and the third reason could be a neurological issue. They bumped their head, some kind of injury. They got pecked on the head, something along that lines. As far as my chick, you know, there's no way to know for sure exactly what it is. I'm, I kind of rule out a vitamin deficiency. Um, I, you know, they, they eat a, a game bird starter that has all the vitamin supplements to it. It's what I feed all my birds, all my chicks, and I hardly ever, if ever, come down with rye neck. Uh, this is the first case I've had in the last couple of years. I mean, it's been several years since I've had a case of rye neck. And even then, it was only one case, only one bird. So it's, you know, I don't think it's a vitamin deficiency. Um, I don't think it's uh, necessarily a genetic issue either because, again, it doesn't present itself very frequently. What I have noticed is that my silver chicks, and that was a silver chick, are the ones that seem to be more su susceptible to it. Those are the only ones I've had that have ever gotten rye neck. I've never seen it in one of my standard brown color quail. So who knows? Maybe it is some kind of genetic thing that just you know presents itself every great once in a while. All right, now as far as how to treat it, Treating it, I mean, it's not terribly difficult, but it is a little time consuming. It's a little bit of work. What you need to do is you need to remove that bird from the rest of the flock because the stress factor of being in there with the flock, they're going to pick on that bird. They're going to run that bird over. He's going to have a hard time getting around anyway. It's extra stress and it's going to make the condition worse. The second thing you need to do is to pick up some kind of vitamin supplements. Again, you want selenium and you want vitamin E. You can pick those up in like an electrolyte drop at any kind of farm supply store. You just add a couple of drops to their water and uh, that should help treat them. Um, you can also, you could do it a number of different ways. Um, you can actually buy selenium and vitamin E at like any of your health food stores. It comes in a bottle, um, just the same things that we would take. You just give them a very small amount in their water and treat them over, you know, probably several weeks, uh, you know, a couple of weeks before you're going to see marked improvement. And chances are it may get worse before it gets better. Here's the difficulty about that is that bird is going to have a hard time. Now this one right here, for the most part, is still able to eat and still able to drink. But often um, they have a very hard time with eating and drinking. So you're going to have to kind of hand feed them. And you're going to have to give them the medicine in a, in a dropper bottle a lot of times to get them to actually take it. Now as far as what I'm going to do with this bird, um, you know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't treat your birds, but I'm not going to I'm not going to do that with this bird, unfortunately. I'm going to call this bird from the flock. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is I have a lot of birds, so one bird is not a huge loss for me. Um, on the off chance that it is a genetic disorder, I don't want to pass those genes on to future generations and carry that on. I want to remove it from the flock. If it's a vitamin deficiency, that still could be a genetic disorder. This, this chick may be just kind of genetically... Uh, disposition to not be able to absorb those vitamins uh, um, effectively or efficiently, I should say. And if that's the case, I don't want to pass those genes on either. And if it's an injury, then there's not really anything I can do to treat it anyway. So I, to put the extra work into this one bird, um, to have it maybe survive and then pass those weak genes on is just not something that I subscribe to for my quail. Um, now, if you want to do that, if you want to treat your birds, there's no problem. I'm not judging you for that. Do it. I, I think it's a great idea. But 
in my situation, it doesn't make sense when I'm trying to grow bigger birds, healthier birds that mature fast. That, that's, that's my goal. So I call out um, these you know, sickly birds, the birds that have those major issues. Not every issue is worth calling the bird out over. This is one of them that I feel is. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You, you learned something. Let me know in the comments below if you've dealt with rye neck in your quail and if you've successfully treated it. Um, how did you go about doing that and what were the results in the end? Did you have future birds that had, had more problems like that? Thank you so much for watching and as always, God bless.